Um, who would you be happy to have your data shared with? Uh, and so that's something I don't know if we've really covered today, but we still are in the early uh, days of trying to understand, you know, what people want in terms of privacy versus um, service and other types of benefits to having their data shared. And so we have uh, undertaken some data surveys and we look, I won't go into detail on this, but you know, how do you want your data to be shared? And just as one measure, how long do you want anyone to have your data? And presently, most people would say, I only want my data to be with that um, retailer or company for the time frame of the transaction, no longer. Of course, that's not really going to be the case. We've got all new kinds of third-party data that's coming into play, um, but it is going to require what we call a new psychological contract and this level of trust with, that customers believe um, that you're making the right um, use of their data. So a whole nother um, uh, complexity. So, you know, retailers and brands have always had our data. Uh, in the early days, the store owner knew who you were when you walked in the door, they know what you buy, and they said, but we just got the soap that you like, it came in yesterday, here it is. So that's a very personalized experience, and, you know, it, we didn't really think of it as data, we think of it as simply a relationship, being known. Um, which is a positive thing. And then we got into, you know, account numbers, you know, people had accounts, and so there's some data, a paper trail of what you've purchased over a period of time. And then, of course, credit cards open up a whole new vault of data, uh, and then loyalty uh, cards uh, layered on top of that. So now, uh, just as a whole nother, you know, front, we're looking at the aggregation of multi-source data third-party data, as I mentioned, uh, which can become uh, incredibly powerful. Uh, also very difficult to uh, figure out how to use it and, and, and you know where you want to get it from. I think Dave Marcotte did a great job this morning kind of talking a bit about that, uh, the data and then he, he's told how it leads you know, uh, to chaos potentially. So really have to have a good lens on um, what we're trying to do with this data. And I'm